Welcome to uh, Mars Outdoor Adventures, where we're all professionals here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Time for another fishing adventure with the dad and the brother. So we're going for some big fishies today. Down on the St. Croix. Probably the Mississippi. And probably the Mississippi. And this is what we're using for bait. Some bullheads. So we're going for some big fish today. Bathroom break, but we forgot someone. <laughs> I'll catch that before we get hit by a fucking car. Okay, it's in there. Secret spot. Now we're looking for the little boat. Dad's friend has a little uh, 18 footer that we're gonna try to cram four dudes on and all my filming equipment. All kinds of fine ass boats here. These things are huge. What? Dude, I Dude, Dad trolled us. He did troll us, bro. What? You jackass! You told us you we were taking us, it. Bro. You told us we were taking a 16 footer. No. God. <laughs> dad, Dad told us we were taking a 16 footer, and we got the this Mac Daddy about, boat. This we got is about 16 therapy. feet wide. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right. So we met up with our buddy Rick. He's our guide for the day. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Epic, dude. This is so cool. Group. Let's see what happens. <laughs> God, dude. You want to just hand these shit? Yeah, you want to take them up there? I am pumped. Twin 454s in this bag, girl. It is completely passed right now. Hell yeah, dude. Those things sound dirty. Drop an anchor, we found our spot. It's go time. We're anchored down, getting all the poles rigged up, and gonna start casting in. Gonna get some flatheads. We're gonna get some flatheads. <laughs> I'm gonna have a flathead when I fall off this ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you chopped them already? Mm -hmm. That one, because it was already dead. Okay. He's toast. So we chummed up our bull heads, and here goes the first cast. Where do you cast this, sir? Could this be the river monster that we've been after? It ain't a small toddler somewhere near Steelwater. <laughs> There's line number two. So we chummed up a moon eye. That way we can save some of our bullheads since we only have six of them. Yeah, 
Yeah. And the guys I talked to said cut bait, cut moon eye works better. So we'll see, and then I'll let you guys know. Update, have not caught a thing yet. No. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, sit back for another glorious voiceover with Chris. You know what fucking happens. The GoPro mic cord slipped out of the GoPro, didn't realize it, missed all the audio for this awesome action shot. But to sum it up for you, I caught the first fish of the night. It still wasn't a flathead cat, it was a channel cat. These things are still very strong, dense fish, so it put up a good fight. It's like pulling a log out of the water. I still enjoyed it. But we're in a fucking 45-foot yacht, and instead of running to the back to get the net, Caden grabs the line and tries to heave it on up this 10-foot freaking span here over the railing. And you know what happens when you try to do that. Tunk is gone. And that was the first fish of the night. Would have been my biggest channel. 7 to 10 pounds, but it did snag his toe on the way down, so he got what he deserved for that one. So it wasn't a flathead, it was a channel cat. But I lost it. But he, he I lost, lost the it. whole thing. <laughs> but it would have been my biggest channel cat um, yet. But it's all good. Sun's going down, so that's when we'll start getting our bites. Oh, it cut the crap out of my toe, man. You good? Oh, dude, I actually sliced it open. Bummer. Fuck. Good catch. Oh, dude. <laughs> good catch. Good catch, guys. We almost landed it. So we got, Next time I you want to. I told wanna... you we had the fishing experts on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, lift the 15 pound cat up. Let's winch him up. <laughs> yeah, winch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, let's just bring him right up. If I could, let's just tie it around the anchor next time. We'll, we'll give you a little we'll bit just... more time before you're on Wicked Tuna. We'll be... <laughs> it went through Since it. we know there's you a good? possibility of it fish. in here and out there. Ooh. Chumming some more. Chumming. Seems like the moon eyes, seems like they like the moon eyes better than the bullhead so far. So far. So, we're going to keep hacking up some moon eyes. Hacking. <laughs> Damn it! I'm it was sorry. The first fish of the day. It's okay. Yeah, a sweet picture for your video. Yeah. Well, I got I got it on camera. Did you? Yeah. We're about to enter prime time. Prime time. Let's hope we get something again. Yes. So since we're on boundary water, here on the Saint Croix, uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, you can technically have two poles per person in the water. So we have two rods per person in the water, just on different angles in the boat. And so far they've all been biting in like 13-ish feet of water. So right on the bottom. Damn it. So far Caden's lost three fish. No, you just missed two of them. But I that lost last one. one, that last one was a lot heavier. It took it and ran. So we think that that was probably- She was cooking. That was probably a yeah. flathead for sure. Yeah, she was moving. But the one I had, uh, it was a channel cat. Didn't really feel that heavy, but it still fought good. But his, I mean, you could tell that she was a heifer. So, yeah. Let's try to get one of them uh, in the boat. Let's try to get one of them in the boat. <laughs> so we've been hitting most of our fish up in the flats, like 13 feet of water. So we're gonna move the boat forward. So that way, uh, Dad and Rick in the back can start hitting some. So we'll get a little bit closer to under the bridge and then we'll see how that goes as far as action tonight since we're hitting prime time. Got it! Wow! Jeez, look at this giant ass clam. Anchor up? Yup, anchor's up and Caden got a clam off the anchor. Nice. I'm really confident that under the bridge, we're gonna, we're gonna get some. Drop it. What was that? I said, let's rip some lips. <laughs> Bites back here. Okay. Caught about six flatheads now. Yep. Right on. Well, Between thanks. like 70 and 100. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Fucking jackasses. Sorry. Go. Flathead. That's the 
hope. Ooh, there Ooh. is some weight to her though. Caddy, catfish, in the channel. In the channel. Another channel. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. That's a nice, that's there actually you go. a perfect size little eater. All right, another channel cat. Not a flathead, but it's action. That was on crawler? Yeah. I was trying to pick up an eel or a small ball buff or one of the other fish that he needs. Huh. So we caught that channel on a clump of crawlers. Um, I guess. But we're still hoping for at least one flathead for the night so we can get it for Caden's book. We will fish into the night. Well, I had to bust out the flashlight. But it is pretty freaking gorgeous out here. Perfect night. Yeah, boy. Not too hot, not too cold. Go play fresh type night. City lights are on the water. It's nice. So, we pulled our bait in and got fresh cut bait. Because after a while, your bait kind of just gets... turns into a soggy butthole. Yeah. After a while, your bait kind of just gets waterlogged and doesn't smell and they don't really notice it. Um, so you get some fresh cut bait on there and they'll pick up on it better. So that's what we have been doing. I think we got one on. So this one, it's slowly kind of taking the line out. I have my drag set really loose. And I'm just gonna let it kind of drift off. You don't want to set the hook for, for uh, catfish. You want to just kind of slowly start pulling and then reel. Have fish? I don't know. Ugh, we lost them. So we just got back home. It's 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple channel cats, but we did not snag a flathead. Nope. Sometimes this happens on the fishing adventures. Do a lot of driving for a fish for the book. Right. But it's okay. We had fun. The yacht was awesome and we got to spend some time together again. Right. The journey's the fun. Yep. So next time. We'll we'll maybe get one next time. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.